is up everybody and welcome back to the channel and in this video we will be starting the css part of the free code camp curriculum so we're going to do a walkthrough of the css part of the free code camp curriculum and by the end of this videos this series of videos this is what we are going to be building so it's just a basic coffee menu and we have some items here with their corresponding price list and yeah we also have on the background this photograph of coffee beans so that's what we're going to be building whilst we learn how to use css so if you haven't seen it i've already done a video some videos on the html part of the free code camp curriculum uh you can have a look at it i'll put a link to it in the description below and you can have a look at it but you've already if you've already done that then we can continue with this one all right so let's start with step one in step one uh we have to add a doc type and also an html element so what the doc type does is that it just tells your browser or your user's browser what kind of document this is and in this case the document is an html okay and you hit enter and then after that we also have to add an html element so the html element is the parent element and all other elements that you'll be adding for this page has to be within the html element okay and uh, we also have to give this html element an attribute of lang and the value of that attribute is en okay so if uh any of this how to add an attribute and their value is not familiar to you you are confused and i will encourage you once again to watch the html videos before you continue watching this one but if you're okay with basic html then let's continue okay so next up we have to add a head element within the html element so this is our html element as you can see here this is the opening html element and here we have the closing html element so within it we have to add a head element like so so we have our opening head element and our closing head element and then we have to give the head element a title attribute so uh no within the head element sorry we should have a title element like so okay so we have our opening title element and our closing title tag and then we write a text cafe menu okay so the title element is usually what is displayed on top of on the tab right so for example the title element for this current page we are on is this one right here as you can see it's learn basic css by building a cafe menu step two so that's the title element so in our case with the page that we are building the title element is cafe menu okay so let's continue yeah next up the title is one of several elements that provide extra information and it's not visible on the web page yes so as you can see here in our preview we don't have anything here even though we've added title element so whatever we put in this head element really isn't going to show on our page okay all right but it's useful for search engines or how the page get displayed inside the head element we want to nest a meta element with an attribute named char set and set to the value utf-8 and this is going to tell the browser how to encode the characters for the page right also uh, note that metro elements are self-closing elements which means we don't have to do this uh, yeah there's no need to add a closing tag because it's a self-closing element okay 
so let's just clean this one and then what we are going to do is to give it an attribute called charset and the value of charset is going to be utf-8 okay all right let's continue okay so uh frico camp is uh asking us to donate so if you want to help out if we could come is free but the reason why it's free is because some people donate to support the activities of free come so if you want to donate you can do so uh for now just for us to continue with our tutorial i'll just click ask me later okay yeah so step four to prepare to create some actual content add a body element below the head element okay so now we are getting ready to add some actual content so first we will need the body element so we have our opening body tag and then the closing body tag like so next up it's time to add some menu content add the main element within the existing body elements it will eventually contain pricing information about coffee and desserts offered by the cafe. Okay, so once again, this is what we are building. So this is the coffee and dessert menu items that we are talking about. All right, so within the body elements, we have our opening main tag. We also have our closing main tag like so. All right, so for step six, what we want to do is we want to add the name of the cafe, the cafe, which is Kampa Cafe. And to do so, we are going to use an H1 element within the main element. All right. So we have our opening H1 element and a closing H1 element like so. And then we want to, uh, yeah, right kampa cafe all right now we have kampa cafe showing on our preview okay so to let visitors know the cafe was founded in 2020 we want to add a p element below the h1 element with the text est established 2020 okay so we need a p element and uh, mind you p is for paragraph so we use it, we use it to add text to our page and uh, yeah so we have our opening p tag here and our closing p tag here okay and the text we want to use for it is uh, est period 2020 okay so here we have our p tag on to the next one There will be two sections on the menu, one for coffees and one for desserts. Once again, this is what we are building. So one session for coffee and another session for dessert, like so. Now, we want to add a section element within the main element. So you can have a place to put all the coffees available. So let's first of all create a session for the coffee menu items so we have our opening session tag and a closing session tag like so okay so next up we want to create an h2 element in the section element and give it the text coffee so here's our session element and uh, we want to nest a new h2 element so we have our opening h2 tag and our closing h2 tag and then the text we want to use is coffee like so okay All right, now next up, what we want to do is up until now, you have been limited regarding the presentation 
and appearance of the content you create. To start taking control, add a style element within the head element. Okay, so now we are getting into uh, CSS, the CSS part of it. So as you can see here, these texts or elements that we've added have default styles. So for example, this H1 has a certain font style that is using and is bolding this p tag here is not bolding this h2 is bolding but compared to the h1 is relatively smaller so these are all default styles that are added to our elements as we create them but we want some flexibility so we want to add our own styles so that's where css comes in when we use css we are able to add our own styles to the element so for example we can change this text to make it any color we want we can use any font style we want and we can add any size make it any size we want and you know just we have flexibility with css that way we can style it according to however we want it to look like so to do that inside the head element we want to add an element called style so that is what is going to help us to add our own custom style so the way we do that is to add an opening style tag and a closing style tag okay uh, let's see if it passes yes all right so that will be the end of this video uh we will continue in the next video Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.